Breaking news. The Florida State Seminoles have a high school quarterback commit in the <laughs> class of 2023. It was looking hairy for a while, but not anymore because late Monday afternoon, just as everybody's getting off work, four-star quarterback Brock Glenn from the Lausanne Collegiate School in Memphis, Tennessee, flips his commitment from Ohio State of all places to the Florida State Seminoles. Kevin, he is 24-7 uh, sports, has him ranked as a four-star. He's the number seven player in all of Tennessee, the number 19th quarterback in the country. Big flip, a kid that Florida State fans really <laughs> took one took one in the chest when we lost this kid <laughs> over the summer. But, man, Tony Torkars, Mike Norvell, Alex Atkins, they kept chipping away, chipping away. And the climb, they finally reached the summit. They've got their quarterback. They're rolling, and uh, I think it's a commitment that Florida State fans should be really excited about. What do you think, Kevin? What do you, do you agree? And or what? What about this kid's game jumps out to you? Yeah, so I think that um, you got to be excited about four star quarterbacks. I mean, yeah, they baby, don't come, come around on. every every day. Uh, AB would be. Uh, I wish I wish AB was here to be to be equally pumped about four star quarterbacks. I think. I think his film is going to say a lot about about who he is, but uh, you, you see a lot of people making comparisons, throwing out names. Um, saw Jordan Travis today, which was which is an odd one, but um, you throw no, out I, a name. Who does he remind you of? If I were to if I were to say a name, I would say Brady White. Uh, so okay, really That's the only that for people that don't know that was Mike Norvell's quarterback at Memphis that transferred in from Arizona state, which is the one where he won the, uh, he won the conference title in correct that Brady white. Yeah. So Brady white's just about the only quarterback that we've seen of Mike Norvell's that he recruited personally and developed personally for his offense. And really since since his time before Memphis, this, like Brady White was his guy. So when you think of a prototypical Mike Norvell quarterback, it's not Jordan Travis, it's Brady White. And so uh, I think he he kind of has that mold to him. And I think we can kind of get into that as as the film progresses. Why why I see that comparison, but um, I like that. That's a good tease. Well, let's let's roll that <laughs> film and say why this Brock Glenn reminds you of Mr. Brady White. Brock Glenn, by the way, has nothing to do with his skill set. Fun, fun, solid name. Big fan. All Brocks are successful. Brock Lesnar, uh, the first Pokemon gym leader in Pokemon Red. All great Brocks throughout history. <laughs> all right, let's jump into it. Boom. Senior season highlights. Yeah, no junior film highlights in, in here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're only, only watching the most the good recent. Stuff. That's right. All right. My God, a lot of air under that ball, man. What do you see there? Yeah, so this is this is the Brady White comparison. This is where he fits into Mike Norvell's offense, in my opinion. Norvell wants to run the ball. We know this. Um, it's established fact that that's what Norvell wants to do. And then in order to supplement the running game, you need a quarterback that's going to be able to take the top off the defense. And you see that's kind of all Brock. Brocklin's film is, is him just taking the top off the defense, him hitting this deep ball. I mean, this is a 60 God. yard throw in the air, just casually for launching nukes. I love that. That's a great first highlight play on the kid. The kid's got some legs too, Kev. Yeah. I wouldn't consider him a, a scrambler by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, yeah. Mike Norvell's going to keep that <laughs> read a option. Pretty tough runner right there, dude. Oh, he's a tough runner, but he he wants to sit in the pocket and he wants to throw this football. I, but he's I, good enough to be able to pull on read options. Is that yeah? The key. Oh, oh, that's a great pass too. Yeah, he's got about seven or eight touchdowns on the ground as well. And then this, what what do you think of this throw here? The way he fits that in. Yeah, this is this is probably one of my favorite throws of his his tape here. So you kind of get a seam route against cover three. So it's a good read. And uh, this is a, a tight throw. You've got to fit it between this linebacker and this safety coming over and not go too far outside because you have a corner there. That's that that is a nice window. Kev, what do you think about his his arm that jumps out at you? Is it strength, accuracy, anticipation, or, or combination of those three? What, what do you think really like is the 
what's more synonymous with Brock Glenn's game? Uh, so his arm, his arm strength looks good. I mean, uh, he's, he's able to throw these, these deep posts, but those aren't like, these aren't necessarily super challenging throws here. So they look flashy on a highlight tape. Like yes, this, they this, do. this deep post. Um, but generally with these, you're kind of throwing them up and you're letting your wide receiver. I mean, that's, that's some decent air on that. Are you letting your wide receiver run under it? That's why I like that that little seam route he threw earlier more than I care about these posts. Um, but I think the, the poise in the pocket is what really, really stands out for me. So good scrambling ability there to just to, just to elongate the play and go over the top. And it is interesting. You point out his deep ball. Jordan Travis has been very successful. Obviously Mike Norville's offense with a flatter deep ball. It'd be interesting to see what, what a kid can do with that puts a little bit more air under it. Right. Yeah, I mean that's all he's doing here. He's just throwing the deep ball, putting air under it. His receivers are winning. Um, the post route is probably one of the hardest routes to cover in man coverage. Um, and he's got he's got an arm to be able to deliver it. So I don't want to disparage the kid's arm or anything, but um, I think you see, I think you see a balance in his game that's attractive for Mike Norvell's offense. Oh, that's a nice throw. Good touch. <laughs> I think the kid dropped it. Right. Yeah, he did. Um, but oh god, <laughs> that's not gonna happen at FSU, young man. Don't worry about that. Nice throw. Oh, I like this throw. Yeah, that's what really happens there? Very similar idea. So you've got a kind of running this deep post over this linebacker. Flynn does a good job of working up in the pocket, delivering the ball. So he's just got a step on this linebacker, but he sees the leverage that this linebacker hasn't fully turned his hips. Delivers a ball right over his head. This he might kinda, be my favorite throw of the tape. <laughs> does he kind of bait the defender a little bit? There was like that little, like that little hitch. What was that? Uh, the defender's not uh, looking at him. I think right there. Just, yeah. I think that's just him moving up in the pocket. Okay. Yeah, there he's got Tourette's. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> nice throw, dude. My goodness. Yeah, but I was saying I I like his balance. I like that he's. He's got a good enough arm to challenge his defense, challenge defenses deep. He's got good enough legs that you can't s sleep on him. Uh, pulling the ball or on designed runs. Honestly, there's a little bit of Garrett Schrader in this kid. Hmm, interesting. They got similar builds. Uh, Schrader, Schrader struggles with accuracy concerns, so I, I'm not quite sure how that fits in with Brock Lynn's game. Um, seeing only the highlights, it's hard to know. Sometimes, right, it's exactly. But he has a very similar drop to 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 Garrett Schrader, where he kind of keeps his feet a little bit wide. He might have a tendency to understride, so he's he's a little understriding here because he doesn't take an actual step into this throw. Um. So that, that probably will cause him to sail some throws sometimes. Um, but yeah, he's as a framework for a quarterback. He's all he's all you can ask for. Yeah, it looks very smooth. Uh, 6'2", 195. So like not massive, but that's definitely good enough size. And he moves around really well. Like you said, he's not going to blow you away with speed, but he's extending plays. He seems to know when to tuck the ball and. Uh, he does look like a Mike Norvell quarterback, man. He looks very in command of this offense, and he can do a variety of things for you. And like that's yeah, he's putting it on kids. Yeah, here he's running the ball. He's only six two. Uh, that's what it says on the uh, the twenty four seven profile. It looks it looks a bit bigger than that, right? I was about to say, I would I would guess this kid's six three six four. Yeah, six two point seven. I'm sure. But yeah, I I I'm excited about this kid. I I think that. Oof! Good tough run. I think he's he's a talented quarterback. I think he he's got the physical tools. I think he makes some good throws. Um, I mean, I I don't think there's nothing on this tape that's been a true NFL level throw, but you don't need that to be successful necessarily, and that's something that can come with time. I think he's got the arm strength to be able to make those. Oh, that's a good throw. Um. Yes, we'll play that again. Moving across his body. 
but yeah, I mean, he's got, he's got all the tools that force a defense to be honest. And that's exciting with Mike Norvell's offense. Well, with Mike Norvell's running game too, man, just the, the way that he's launching these deep balls, extending plays like that's that you could think Brocklin with a couple years of development with this framework, that is a quarterback that puts so much stress on an opposing defense that, uh, I, I get, I get why we went after him so hard. Um, even like you said, we, Florida state had a quarterback committed in Chris Parson and they still went after this kid hard. They lost him and they never stopped fighting for his recruitment. Even when he was, he was committed to a big dog like Ohio state. And I, I think this film shows why. Do you think that he's properly ranked as a four-star, Kev? 90 grade on the composite, so I guess you'd say like lower-level four-star. I know you don't care about ratings. I know you're very anti-rating, but does this look like a four-star quarterback to you, Kevin? Yeah, I think based off based off build alone, uh, you're looking at someone that's a high three-star, low four-star, but his mobility matched with his... With his arm, I think, yeah, I mean, I, I would I would buy top top 25 quarterback, top 20 quarterback in the country, but um, it's about fit with the system with Mike Norbell, and I think that's what you have to look at, that, yeah, this kid might not be the one that pops the most off the film when you're watching him, but he fits the system. Oh, that one pops right there. Yeah, that's a throw, <laughs> right? He. <laughs> That's he fits a, what Norvell wants to that's do. That's howitzer, man. Oh, <laughs> this kid is just launching like trebuchets. I oh, love that's it. that's a great throw. I hate that this gets cut off. That is a fr- okay. That's okay. I take that back. This is an NFL throw. Right oh, I'm here. Glad, I'm glad we waited till the end. Yep, I'm glad we saw this. This I said I haven't seen any NFL throws. This is a pocket. Look at this. He throws this. From the right He's, hash, too. Look at that. Look at the distance. This kid's not even open yet. But he sees the leverage. And there's defenders there. Puts yeah, it in the a, right spot. That's an NFL level throw. Yeah, this kid's got a ceiling that that has to make you excited. Um, it's hard for me to, to really evaluate him without seeing his everyday game. Why is he putting all the good clips at the end? cutting them off because kids are dropping well, it. He, well, you know, he he kept he kept the easy bombs for idiots like me, but man, <laughs> that one th- I, I'm telling you, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited th- the distance, the height, the accuracy. He's a vertical coach's dream, man. He just Yep. I, I see it. this this is such a fit. This is such a fit for a coach that wants to run the ball and then go vertical to make more space for his running game. It's, it's a quarterback built for playmakers cap. That's what Brock Glenn looks like. Playmakers, best friend, this guy. 30 running RPOs. This is the first thing that they'll install in the passing game for, for new quarterbacks. He's already ready. Looks good to me, man. Yeah, I think that's that's all I need to say about Brock Glenn. <laughs> any any final thoughts other than that? I'm, I'm really glad we got to those last couple throws because I I was obviously pumped. Yeah, no, but you got to be excited. I'm excited now, I'm jazzed up. You got to be excited. There's a reason that Ohio State was going to take this kid that they took his commitment, and it's because the kid's got a ceiling. He's got a he's got a high ceiling. He's he's got the tools that you. You want a quarterback? He's he's big bodied. He moves fairly well. I just I I see him as you know I, Brady White didn't move as well as this kid does. So no, that no, that, I, that that comparison kind of falls flat a little bit. He doesn't move like Jordan Travis, like I, I've seen other people say. But he, I I I mean, I I think Garrett Schrader is where I I kind of want to um kind of make that comparison. Who who had a really good first six games of the season and, and looked really dominant and with, with, with good coaching could be a really, really good quarterback. So um, yeah, I'm excited about this kid. And I, I think that, I think that you should be too. <laughs> and we know you are. So thank you for sticking with us. Obviously subscribe. If you haven't to the Knowles 24 seven YouTube guys, it's rivalry week. 
We broke down the Louisiana Lafayette film to let you know what you can expect because they run a similar scheme to Florida. So check that out on the X's and Knowles YouTube channel. Kevin's is going to have a wonderful video-based preview on UF's offense, how Florida State can try to defend it, all those sort of things drop in later in the week. Check that out on Knowles247.com, X's and Knowles YouTube page. I can't get all the plugs in because we are jam-packed with content on Rivalry Week. News is just falling from everywhere, and we've got you here at Knowles 24-7. We've got you fully smothered, covered, and loaded like some Waffle House hash browns. We love you guys. Knowles rule. Gators suck. Keep chopping, and Brocklin is a Knoll, baby.